Welcome everybody to another episode of Rewind the Times, man. How's everybody doing today? How you doing, guys? Hope everybody's enjoying their week. I just had a nice, nice uh, vacation from work, and it came and went just like that, man. It literally, I, I left Monday um, on the tenth, I believe it was, or the eleventh, and my my first night was uh, last night. And man, does it it just went by so fast, man. But I hope everybody, hope everybody's doing good, man. Um, I wanted to touch on just a few things today. Uh, the first thing I wanted to I want to talk about was I went and I seen Madam Web. Um, man, uh, I was sort of, uh, sort of opening night. Well, opening night would have been uh, would have been Monday. I, I went on Valentine's Day with my girlfriend. It was actually our Valentine's date. We did we kind of did we we kind of did the Valentine's Day thing backwards. Um, I hate busy restaurants and stuff like that. So we went out to eat on on the thirteenth. They did Valentine's Day uh, the movie on the fourteenth, which was good because we saw, you know. One thing about me is, um, I don't really go, I don't base things on, on people's opinions. Um, and the reason I don't do that is because back in the day, you know, people, I, I really listened to, I really listened to a lot of people when they, when they used to say, this movie was good, that movie's good, this, that, I would really get lost into it. And I really never, I never really had the chance to really form an opinion myself. So over the years, I've just learned to, you know what, man, go into it with, you know, either, it, it, it's kind of hard, man, if you, if, you, if sometimes go, just go into it with, you know, just, just go into it with kind of like low expectations, I guess, I guess you want to say, you know, sometimes when you, when, you know, and, and I, and I'm very guilty of this, like The Flash, I couldn't wait to see The Flash, I still think it was a great movie, but sometimes when you listen to what people say, uh, it, it can either sway you this way or that way, and, you know, I was hearing all these terrible reviews about Madam Web, and I know no matter what, I'm going to go see it myself anyways. I am on the fence. I am one of those people that did like Morbius. Um, so don't turn off the cameras yet. Don't don't click off this channel yet. Um, <laughs> you know, I thought Morbius was it wasn't that bad of a movie. See, I, see, things about me is the thing about me as a critic is if I get if I'm entertained, then I like it. That's just me. I mean, if I if I go and have a good time, um, and sometimes just the atmosphere and the crowd can actually determine whether I really enjoyed the movie or not. And you know, I seen I seen Morbius uh, twice in the theaters, and and you know what I mean. I saw it with a pretty good crowd, and I I really enjoyed it. Unfortunately, we don't know where that Sony Spider Verse world is going, but um. So hearing all the bad, all the negative stuff about Madam Madam Web, I wanted to see it myself, and I'll say this, um, went and seen it, and um, it it it's not a good movie. <laughs> it's really not a good movie. Um, I don't understand the movie, and what I mean, let me rephrase that. I I know comic books. I know who she is. I know who Cassie Webb is. I understand who she is, Cassandra Webb. I understand who that who she is, but the movie itself, it's like, it felt like, it felt like a, a you ever have a piece of cake with no frosting, it's good, but you know it's missing something, and every time you bite into this piece of cake, you're just hoping that something that, like I don't know, hoping that the cake, you're hoping that the piece is gonna get better and better and better, and it just doesn't. That's what this movie is. It's literally it takes you on an adventure, without an adventure. Um, if that makes any sense, um, it's a shame because it has three Spider Women in this. This is this is a spoiler review, uh, by the way. It does it does have three Spider Women in it, and they're so they're so briefly in the movie, and it's such a shame because their costumes are just so cool looking. I mean, they really did a good job. Even Madame Web's costume at the end. I mean, they're just spot on. But unfortunately, you just you only you see him for maybe like uh, five minutes in the in the beginning and maybe six seven minutes at the end, and it's like that's the movie that I wanted to see. So basically, Cassandra Webb is this woman that her mother her mother was pregnant at the time and she went to she went to Peru to look for this to look for the spider that had the, that had this magical this special venom venom inside her because at the time we didn't know but we find out later on her daughter was dying of something and then, and this this venom could save her life. So they so her mother found the, found the um the spider and um the bad guy I forget his name sorry he's just not rememberable and that's a shame he looks like a he looks like a cosplay version of Spider Man and I hate to say that but that's really the truth when I first saw his costume I went oh it's a cos it looks like a you ever buy like a a spandex costume overseas in Japan or China that's what it looked like I, I I'm not even kidding you that's exactly what it reminded me of so he kept having vision so so anyways he stole the spider. And then, like thirty years went by, and he kept he kept having visions of these three spider women that were going to kill him. They don't at all in the movie explain how the spider women get their powers. They don't at all. Um, 
I guess it, this movie could have been an origin for three people, Madam Web and then the, the three Spider Women, but it wasn't. So because it wasn't, you just you just assume that you know how they get their powers, and they are all friends too, which is weird. So Dakota Fanning is a beautiful beautiful woman, um, but she just doesn't seem like she's even happy to even be doing the role. Um, I did hear she I did hear she fired her agent after this after she was casted. Uh, I cast her in this role, but she just, she just seems like she's just really, she's, I hate to say that she's there for a paycheck, because I don't, I, I believe actors and actresses, obviously they want to get paid, but there's just nothing, and it sucks because it's either her or the, or, or the story, and this m movie has a lot of great actors in it, and actresses, I mean, you have Emma Roberts, you have Adam Scott, Mike Epps, Dakota Fanning, uh, I, I forget the spider women's names, I'm sorry, man, Sydney Sweeney, I think her name is, beautiful, beautiful woman. But it's like this movie just never made sense, and I hate sometimes. I like, and let me rephrase. I can I can go with the story sometimes, but I hate when they take illogical and try to force it into logic, and I hate that. So in the so so during this movie, it seems like all this. It seems like this movie happened in like a day or two, but really it happened like in over like weeks time. And what I mean is, it's like so Cassie Webb, she was born. Her mom passed away. Her, mo her mother died giving birth to her. So 30 years later, she's an EMT. She's working with Ben Parker, Uncle Ben. And she dies, uh, saving saving someone in a car accident. And then Ben brings her back to life. And by bringing her back to life, it triggers something in her where she can see the future. And she doesn't understand what's going on. She's having a lot of deja vu. And then finally, she, ha she has visions of these three women. And they all meet in a bus together. And she can see that this this Spider Man, this bad Spider Man guy, I forget his freaking name. I'm so sorry, Ezekiel. He wants to kill them, and she pretty much goes on a mission to save them. And it's just okay. I'll give you an example. The teens go missing in the beginning of the movie. They, I'm gonna be all over the place because that's what this movie is it's all over the place. So they're on the subway, and the three Spider Women are there. And Cassie gets them out of there, and she goes and saves them. And she goes to the woods, and she tells them, "Stay here, don't go nowhere. I'm gonna, I gotta go back to my apartment. I gotta figure something out. Just stay there for a few hours." So while she leaves, the girls, of course, they're girls, they're teenage girls. They go, they don't listen. They go to the diner. They're hungry. They, they, Cassie tells them, "Don't bring attention to themselves." What do they do? They bring attention to themselves. So, so anyways, they go to the diner, and this gentleman is reading a newspaper, the Daily Bugle about these three missing teens that just happened like two hours ago and i hate that that part bothered me they just supposedly missing two hours ago but now they're in the the, the mid new, mid afternoon newspaper that that part i hate when they do shit like that um the action scenes what are action scenes and what there are are very minimum action scenes it's like oh she's gonna jump over this rock Oh, she made it. There's, there's an action scene. Oh, she's gonna jump off a branch and swing. Oh, she did it. Like that's, I'm not saying that's what they did, but that's how hyped up and how exciting the action scenes are. It's a very plain movie that, like I said, that takes you on an adventure without an adventure. And it, it, it. The ending was really cool though. You get to see them in their costumes. Um, they all go to this warehouse and and Cassie saves saves their lives and and she kind of can predict. Like I said, she can predict the future. And she kills Ezekiel by this this Pepsi who must have promoted this movie. Must have promoted this movie. Killed 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 Ezekiel at the end. At the end, she's sitting there, she got blinded by the fireworks, and now they all live together. They're one big spider happy family. And she's like, I can tell you what's going on in the future. And it dude, it was I got out and I looked at my girlfriend and I said, I said, Leah, I said, what do you think of this? She's like why couldn't the the last five minutes of the movie be the movie? Like, why couldn't they make that movie? Because that movie would have been awesome. This movie might be the worst comic book movie I've ever seen. And I hate to say that, man. I hate, I love comic book movies. I mean, I love them. I'm all on board. I love them. This was hard, man. This was a hard watch. Um, You know, will I ever watch it again? Yeah, I'll, I'm, I'll be honest with you. I'm going to buy it. I'm going to own it. And I will because I own all the comic book movies. I buy them when they come out. No matter what they are, I always buy them. I just like having the collections of the MCU, and I, my favorite is the DCEU. Or now it's transitioning to the DCU. I could talk about that another time, but um, it's just—it's a really hard movie to. It's a hard movie that to like, and you want to like it because of the actors and actresses that are in this movie. But man, it's really hard. Um, if you want to see it and you're curious, 
go 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 I'd go spend the money to go see it. Or wait in about two weeks when it's on fucking VOD or Fandango or YouTube movies and it's just it's that bad. It's it made Morbius look like a look like a a, a B plus A plus movie. I mean Morbius had way more action and the villains were really cool. Morbius himself was really good, Jared Leto. Um, this movie was hard, man. It was really, really hard. It, it's like you barely see them in their costumes, and when you do, they're like they're glimpses, so you really don't see the action scene clearly. It's like a vision of an action scene. Whew, it was hard, guys. Um, if I had to rate this one out of a five, I'm sorry, man. Point five? I mean, it's that bad. It's that bad. I wouldn't waste my time. But like I said, if you if you really want to see it, go check it out. Um, the other thing that I wanted to talk about real quick, um, um, my Aaron, my Aaron reviews or my, my, uh, my, uh, my Aaron Fisher reviews, great, great guy. I feel bad what he's going through. Um, uh, he's been getting his, his accounts hacked, harassed, people calling his house. I mean, dude, listen guys, we all have different opinions and there's nothing wrong with that. We can all debate and talk and have, have fear, very feel, you know, you know, debates and stuff like that but when you start calling people's houses and death threats and that's taking it to a whole other level i mean you know if you don't like aaron eh, just don't bother with him you know you know, you know what i mean the guy's not hurting nobody he's not going out he's just giving his he's just giving his opinions and and you know he's got a family just like i do and you know hey, tell you not me stop threatening my family i'm gonna take fucking shit serious too <laughs> but you know the guy's a great guy i don't know him personally i just know him talking through here and stuff like that uh, but you know, man, like just just leave the guy alone, man. Just leave him alone. It's it's it's. And I'm not trying to. I'm not trying to be his white and shining armor or come here to his defense. But the guy's not a bad guy. He just has an opinion of something that's different. Um, I I love the DCU like he does, and me and him have a lot of the same opinions on certain things. But there's some things I disagree with him on. But doesn't mean I go in his comments and I trash him. I may disagree with him in his comment, and he'll come at me with his point, and then boom, we respect each other. Uh, but man, to sit there and call his house and death threats, talk about his wife and his children, first of all, his children, you shouldn't be doing that shit, guys. Um, you know, just let it go, man. Just let it go. Aaron's actually a really cool dude, man. And uh, at the end of the day, man, bro, or everybody that would like assholes, man. Everybody has an opinion. Some of them smell, some of them don't. That's all it is. But listen, man, I wanted to let you go. I got, uh, I got work tonight. Last night was so hard, man. It was my first night back. But uh, listen, man, I want to say everybody take care of themselves. Love each other, man. Remember God first and family. And until the next video, guys, take care, man. Peace.